And again, we'll talk about that also coming up just a bit on the show. So right now, it's time to welcome back John Grace from Investors Advantage Corp. John, thanks for sticking around. Sure thing. Now, I talked about having a license to, you know, to, to, to manage your own investments, which you know, in all seriousness, hopefully would, would never happen. Um, but it's funny, because in flying, we have all these kinds of acronyms that are designed to have us check ourselves and whether we're uh, feeling good, healthy enough, energetic enough to fly and things like that. So what can we do, other than talk to people one at a time, what can we do to educate the public so that they can check themselves periodically throughout their, their pre-retirement planning and retirement planning to make sure that this phenomenon you described doesn't happen? Well, one of the things we can do is check our assumptions, right? To, uh, to go back to see if what I believe is really, mm -hmm. um, you know, is, is that going to hold water? Am I going to keep this plane in the air as opposed to just believing that everything's fine? One of the things that we also need to check is an assumption in terms of our longevity expectation. Men in particular, as you know, often believe that I'm going to die uh, before my dad or maybe just about that. And that's where we set the marker. And yet what you see By the way, is, John, uh, John? Yes. Yes. Do you know why husbands typically die before their wives? <laughs> because they can? Because they want to. That's why. Right. All right. Go ahead, John. I'm sorry to interrupt you with that. I, I apologize. <laughs> that's terrible, Dave. That's terrible. <laughs> So, yeah, and it-, it I just alienated half my audience, by the way, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, in many cases, we're seeing a disparity between the haves and the have-nots in mm -hmm. terms of longevity. Those who have more seem to live longer, hmm, in spite of their habits. Those who have less, well, maybe they're not as interested in, in f***ing off the people they used to f*** off. So they just exit stage left. But I'm going to suggest that one of the, that we you know expect to set our uh, at least our planning stage at 90 or 100 to see now will the money run out before I run out? Let's run the numbers to see with these withdrawals, particularly if they have to increase to satisfy required minimum distributions or inflation or whatever it might be. You know, if I'm going to live to 100, am I? Can I see that this account's going to last? particularly if there's another significant uh, decline mm -hmm. in that market, or as they say, really uh, evaluate some of the tools that are out there are really magnificent for investors to see what kind of loss can you accept, not just percentages, because right. nobody gets that, but dollar so, losses, so like 20%. I guess to answer my question, then, we just have to become evangelists. People like yourself, like me, have to become evangelists. To, since everything's self-monitoring, we need to get the word out to let people know that they need to make these checks on a, on a regular basis. And unfortunately, John, time flies when, we're having, when you're having fun, so we need to leave it right there. But thanks so much for being on the show. My pleasure, Dave. See you next time. You stay with us, too. We'll be right back with more on the Income Generation.